The biggest news story in the world to this point in 2020 has been the spread of the coronavirus. COVID-19 has impacted almost every industry imaginable, and esports, unfortunately, has been no different. The coronavirus could be contained in the near future, but it's worth taking a look back at how esports has been affected over the last few months, and also forward to see what might change in the future. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to win.gg to keep up with all of our esports content. So what is COVID-19? Well, to start with, coronaviruses are actually a family of viruses that impact different animals in different ways. In humans, they usually take on the form of something of a cold, which tends to be pretty mild. COVID-19 is actually in that same wheelhouse and takes the form of a respiratory disease in most people. Unfortunately, it's far more deadly than almost all of its cousins. Making matters worse is the fact that it's incredibly contagious and can actually be spread by people before they even start feeling sick themselves. The fact that it's so highly communicable makes it really tough to host a public gathering right now of any kind. That's especially the case when you can reliably expect a lot of international travel. That on its own would make things tough for esports, but the fact that you have so many different competitions scheduled to take place right near the epicenter of the disease makes things even tougher. Because each major esports title has its own unique competitive format, every game has been affected by the coronavirus in different ways. But easily the most hard hit overall has been Overwatch. Even before the 2020 season started, the strict travel restrictions in China had a huge impact on the preparation of the four teams based in the country. But making matters much, much worse was the implementation of the new homestand format for the Overwatch League's third season. Instead of having the entire regular season play out in the Blizzard Arena in Los Angeles, 2020 was supposed to see each of the Overwatch League franchises host a series of events in their home cities. That included all four Overwatch League teams based in China, and when their events were cancelled, all their games had to be rescheduled to take place in another location. Eventually, it was decided that those games should be rescheduled to take place alongside a homestand hosted by the Seoul Dynasty. Unfortunately, a spike in the number of coronavirus cases in South Korea saw that event cancelled as well. That leaves a significant portion of the Overwatch League schedule unaccounted for, even though the regular season is already underway. Also hit hard by the spread of the coronavirus has been all the different Asian leagues in League of Legends. China's LPL was left in limbo for an extended period of time as teams struggled just to bring together their players in order to practice or compete. The league eventually did start, but has been taking place in an online setting to this point in the season. The LCK in South Korea has had its own set of issues as well. The league was actually played on time, but was played in an empty arena in order to prevent fans from spreading the disease to one another. Recently though, the LCK has suspended action indefinitely, likely in order to set up an online league of their own. It isn't just the Asian leagues that are being impacted by the coronavirus though. Europe's LEC recently announced that its spring finals are going to take place in a closed set rather than an open arena as was previously planned. On the other side of the Atlantic, North America's LCS has seen players banned from being able to high-five fans or shake hands with their opponents. On top of that, League of Legends 2020 international events are in real jeopardy of not happening. MSI traditionally takes place in May, but as of right now, it's not clear when or where the event is taking place. Even worse, Worlds is scheduled to take place in Shanghai, China, and it's anyone's guess what might happen if the region becomes unavailable for international travel at that time. Most 2020 being hit by the coronavirus would be huge, but the biggest event impacted thus far has been Counter-Strike Global Offensive's IEM Katowice. ESL's annual Katowice event is possibly the biggest Counter-Strike event of the year outside of the majors. But this year, just days before the event, local officials took away the permit that allowed ESL to host a public gathering at the Spodek Arena. This was a sad sight as Na'Vi ended up hosting an all-time great performance at the event, but hoisted the trophy in front of a crowd of about 50 people. That would have been a tough hit for ESL all on its own, but things might be going from bad to worse with the ESL 1 Rio Major. Brazil was actually the first country to be hit by the coronavirus in South America, and has a number of different teams from Asia scheduled to fly in for the Rio Major. While the Rio Major doesn't actually start until May, it's easy to imagine how things might go wrong for both fans and the pro players scheduled to compete at the event. Believe it or not, we can actually keep going all day on this. Events in PUBG, Dota 2, and Apex Legends have either been postponed or cancelled due to concerns over the coronavirus. 
And those are just the events that are relevant to esports directly. It doesn't take into account expos and conventions like South by Southwest or the Game Developers Conference. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's an end in sight when it comes to the spread of COVID-19, and that's something to keep in mind if you're considering any travel to an esports event this summer. And right now, all you can do as an esports fan when it comes to the coronavirus is wash your hands frequently and cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. We're going to wrap things up now, but if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you were a fan that was planning to travel to an esports event impacted by the coronavirus, feel free to leave a comment and tell us about your experiences. And of course, make sure you subscribe to win.gg to keep up with all of our esports content.